That's St. Joseph. Yes, he will have a better place than that. But at you know, least you got him, you unburied him. Well, we unburied him quite a while ago because my girlfriend from Loretto said, don't ever do that again. Dig him up and bring him in. And the day that we dug him and brought him in, we had two calls about the house. Hmm. And then, of course, you're supposed to bring him and put him in a place of honor in your right. place, you know. Now, this is the master bedroom. And the telephone is ringing, of course. This is her closet. And a special attention. Too fast. Two, whatever you would call these, shades. And this is her view from out of the bedroom. Her bed will be here along this wall, her desk and her chair on this, this wall will be lined with specially made bookcases for all her many, many books. We leave her bedroom and go into what will be her front room. I just don't see how I can live. And she's on the phone again. We don't know how she's going yeah, to live I in this have. mess right now, but yeah. this will, I have an one time with the door, will be a wall with little we shelves on, with probably it. more books. I'm taking pictures of everything. Okay. Um, said, this is very dangerous because I can't see where I'm going <laughs> and I'm falling over boxes, bodies. Be careful. Whatever. This is her, her view from her living room with the same type of shades there. And my sister Maureen, who is helping my mother clean the house. Um, Ma. <laughs> this, if Maureen would hold up these, um, these, these, what are these things, Maureen, with the, so I can show the this plans. to Lisa. Oh. These are the plans. Yeah. This is what eventually everything will look like. Now, wait till I zoom. Uh, just a minute. I'm not zooming. There we go. I don't know. I don't know if you can see this morning, or Jean, Lisa. But this is one part. Yeah, we're trying to clean up this right now. So okay, this is her, going to be her coloring. And if I can remember everything which I can't. I'm sure it is. But that's part, this is all part of her kitchen, bathroom. Uh, this is her bedspread, what that's going to okay. be. I remember that. This is going to be her wallpaper. Part, part of the place will be wallpapered and part of it uh, will just be painted. Uh, so far, the house has been painted with enamel. Get the body out of the way. Okay, this is her, we haven't figured out what this room will be yet. It's a boogeyman this, room. This is the boogeyman room right now, or my kids would probably call it the spider room. It could be a hiding place for who knows what. Let me show you with the door shut. Oh, I found this. Oh, yes. Almost shut. Okay, okay. Now, it's Maureen's suggestion that I cut a kitty door here. Oh, that's right. And put the litter box. A litter there. box on the other side for the cat. Good idea. Now we are entering her kitchen. All new cabinets, new countertop, new sink. I'm tripping on the sheets <laughs> and the wall. Behind you. Okay, the other side is a kitchen. Behind this mess is a new stove. New cabinets, new countertop, old new cabinets overhead, old refrigerator. Well, Maureen, if you want to get in the tub, we have a new tub, specially designed for people that like to sit and take two-hour baths. Instead of a step down into tub, gracefully, this is a step up. And oh, I smashed my head a few times. And into the tub. And she likes to sit in a nice bath. Oh, she wanted it deep. 
So this is it. And now I can never get out here again because there's and this no is how deep that tub is. Now, if you want more, you can try and stand up. Oh, it's all first. wet. She turned the water on. Now, this is, I'm standing level and Maureen is standing level. That's how deep that tub is. Okay, this is her view. I don't know who her neighbors are, but this Nobody is lives there yet. her view from out there. This is the other part of her bathroom. And new, new everything is new. Back to the kitchen, you know who's doing the work? There she is. Mrs. America. The only one that's done a lick of work around here since we got here. Mom, move this board, will you? Mom, Mother, board. I need that cutting board in my car. You wanna you wanna pick that up and carry it down the sixteen stairs? Around it, but I just changed around that, that's all. She's as bad as her daughter, sweeping under the rug. And, well, we will continue this when we get outside. I'll show the, oh, I have to go downstairs and show the boys the oh, end of it, too. No. And they will love that. Okay, also Peter House and, and, and John's. And it's one of the bedrooms. I'm not too sure. This is Peter's. This is Peter's bedroom. He's getting a new bed Monday. Meanwhile, I'm never sure if there's a body in it or not. And this is oh, big closets. Yeah, big closets. Yeah, he's got big closets. And we go from there into their living room. Nice living room. Ceiling fan. And their stereo and their hi fi or TV and and then this, I don't know. I hope John isn't in here. This is John's room. Must be he's gonna have fish or something. Black sheets. Typical boys' room or typical girls, whichever. John, I think you need a housekeeper. I forgot there's a real important part in here. Oh, here. We forgot really something. Really important part. Really important part in John's room. Can you get up there? That's where John and I talk to each other. Okay, now this is tricky because this up here, if I can get it, is the bottom of Jean's tub. Is the bottom of the bathtub upstairs. This is in John's ceiling closet. They can carry on conversations. conversations. Out this Jesus. pretty little area rug, and then we're out into the kitchen area. Whoops! And this is their back door here, and I don't know where does that go. Breezeway and garage. Oh, that's the breezeway door and down into the garage. Come this way because I'm going to show you one thing. Okay. Two steps. Yep. Oh, then there is a basement. That's down into the basement. Now we're into the breezeway. Oh, how nice. That's my hall tree. Oh, that's what she wanted me to see. The hall tree. That will go upstairs. Beautiful. Beautiful.
taking your life in your hands with it down here, though. Yeah. Yeah. Very pretty. Oh, this is a nice little breezeway. And then out into, oh, a double car garage. Wow. How lovely. That little love seat will go on the breezeway. Uh huh. And it reminds me, I can't find the square cable that's supposed to go out there. God knows where that is. This is a nice breezeway. Hmm. We're going to have doors cut here eventually. Uh huh. So that it can go right out that way. Hmm. Yep, that's really nice. Ooh. Okay. Now, after all this work, here we are in the kitchen. And also, there's another bathroom down here. A kitchen full of cabinets. The refrigerator and my oh my what's that hmm and what else do we have out here sink and I think the boys or somebody has done the painting down here there is also another bathroom shower, an old-fashioned claw tub, Peter's favorite room, you want to be sure everybody saw this beautiful color, I'm not sure what shade of green it is, but whatever shade it is, it's Pretty bad. Right. This is her backyard. Ends about there at that driveway. That lamp is on her property, but belongs to the other people. Here we are with the two car garage. And the breezeway. The window above it is the boogeyman's room. And high up on top, top windows there are her living room. And below it, of course, is the boy's place. Back entranceway, which she thinks is ivy going to grow on that. That is the breezeway in between the house and the garage. Tree bank, or bank, whatever it is around this tree. Whatever kind that is. To the house. I think this is the entrance where the boys' place is mostly. And that says 217. Nice shrubbery. walking on lumpy grass, but at least I'm not falling over boxes and sheets spread out all over the floor. 
this would be the front of the house, her apartment upstairs, and her bright red front door. Window up on top. One thing I forgot on the inside is this beautiful window up here, surrounded by two solid pieces of wood that are joined in the center. And the glass, you can't see it from here, but the glass is blue. And the rest of the house. Air conditioner. And I can find the street sign. Street, where she lives. With my family. I took it out. My sister Jean with the big mouth and my mother in the background. Just tell it from me. What is she and over there? <coughs> is Just the uh, Arabian nights. My sister Maureen. Um, um, hiding down here. So really, really uh, really really and some really 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 this young man. We it's George. Johnson. Still lives in the city. Is he still home? Just for me. Yeah. I, and they have been here. Smile. Cost them four hundred dollars a week. It's all right on your doorstep. Then you can figure out. But that's what they were talking about before. I thought. I'm sorry. Do we get this one? No. No, we don't have that one. Or my mother. There's more gray hair. Keep your head down just a little bit, mother. <laughs> get into it. Oh, she's got a fork in her hand. <laughs> well, it's funny how two of the daughters have no gray hair. Isn't that? Isn't that? Yeah, I, you don't see any gray hair here, do you? <laughs> Never. I'm just honest. And what Jerry so am I. Sister Jean, see there, see? who is yeah. the oldest. Natural. It She's was not really hard for me to accept that in you at first. But to your right, so you can hang the right hand turn and go back west. Now you can. You have my purse? What happened to my, Higgins my computer purse? Go west. Okay. Yeah. And it'll be on your right hand side there. It's about, he wanted to inspect the handicap room, so I um, took him I don't there. think so. The no. only thing that he didn't like is so that he thought that each hotel should be equipped with us. This. The seat to slide into the tub. They need something. <laughs> they need something because I couldn't even. We don't use have the dry. The. the it looks like these lens. This lens is really dirty. Mother, pick up your book again, like you were writing in it. Using this setup in your diary. What's the high and low of the temperature today? No, we, didn't, we didn't get it yet. It's yes, all got to be filled in. Right in there, Betty takes pictures from with her VCR or her uh, camcorder. Excuse me. I think I could Peggy if she'd look at me. Oh. <laughs> None of you saw me do this. Oh, she won't like that. I don't care. Hmm? Yes, and here we have the uh, three Tierney girls oh my clearing God. the table and washing dishes. And we actually have it that Aunt Maureen. Oh. Knows how, to, knows how to take care of dishes. What do you mean, Aunt Maureen? I don't 
don't like that. You notice who's doing the, the washing, though? Yes, yes. of course. Yeah, yeah, but who washing. did all the who, dirty work? Who started the washing and doing all that? Yeah. Well, actually, I did. I put my dish in there first and rinsed it off. Oh, okay. But I'm not one to blow my own horn. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> okay, that's enough for this one. Close your eyes and go back to sleep. <laughs> Don't do that. Close your eyes, go back to sleep. Nighty night. Can I open them? No. You're sleeping. Remember? I thought I was being so smart. Well, I did it. She is again. I took my medicine. Busy doing dishes. Yeah, I like to take my pills. Oh. This is all done? This is your Okay, then I can come out in the kitchen now. <laughs> My pills are... Wait, wait just a minute. I took a pill and I was supposed to eat something. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a cookie, no doubt. A cookie. Right. Well, that's what you have to eat. It's not working, Jean. Look, is the light on? You know, the pills don't go down. Until, um, now it's noon. Would you believe it's noon? And here, her bed isn't made. She's sitting there reading the newspaper. She hasn't done a lick of work. She didn't even fold up the afghan. No, nope, nothing is done. <laughs> Jean, I want I want people to see your glasses. Now just just lower it a little bit so they can see the glass. <laughs> you can't see them against the newspaper. <laughs> Oh, you chicken. Okay, nice and slow. Well, at least here I don't have boxes to fall over. Sheets to trip on. How come it just got so bright? I think this thing is an automatic focus. I command you to do something. Oh, what? Looking for my little... No, that's your, that's your watch. I remember taking the earrings off. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I got Packer away. <laughs> <coughs> All of a sudden I realized where she sits. Oh. How come I can't turn this off? I don't know if the red light was still blinking.